Yeah. The first game was pretty perfect, in my opinion, for all of that. You know, I liked how the story, it just, it led you. Like, you could just play it open world and just explore whatever you want to explore. But the story did a really, really good job of leading you through all the different biomes and everything. It was great. Perfect. Like, I think it's perfect. There's, there are bugs in the first one, but there are probably bugs in this one, too. There's fun bugs in the first one. That Like, flying was amazing. Hey, Kaz69. Hmm. You really like the ending of Infinite? Yeah. It's good. There's apparently another Bioshock in the works. We'll see how that goes. Because I love... I didn't play Bioshock 2. The first Bioshock was amazing. And, uh... Alright. Sec our third one, Infinite, was okay. I was a little bit disappointed in it because it was more of just like a straight up action game. Straight up FPS and no horror really and no uh, a lot less RPG elements than the first one. That's why I really like the first one because the system, or I mean, the Bioshock games are like spiritual successors to the System Shock series, which were like extremely RPG heavy. They're uh, immersive sim games. That's like the name of the genre. And going into Bioshock, like with System Shock Two being one of my favorite games of all time, the first Bioshock, I was like, yeah, I tried streaming it fairly recently, the remaster, but we didn't get that far. One day I will play it again. I think mostly it was the uh, FOV that was like really like making me want to throw up. <laughs> and a lot of copper. Scanned you, right? Yeah. If you want nice horror games, go with Dead Space. The first Dead Space is one of my favorite games also. Real good. Played it on the hardest difficulty. And I love it was like a survival horror game. It's really good. Uh constantly Morning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Constantly running out of or ammo, like having the really, really conserve ammunition. I had to fight through some areas just melee or running past creatures or the whatever they were called. The necromorphs. So yeah. Second Dead Space was also pretty good but way more of an action game. First one is amazing though. And the first Bioshock. Real good. Real good. Uh... Sure. Now, let us make glass. Been wanting to maybe play the first Bioshock again on stream. That's what's so cool about streaming is like, and you know, I just play whatever I want to play on stream. Of course, if I play Noita, I get, like, you know, way more people here hanging out. That's just the way it is for me right now. But hopefully one day I can play a lot of different things and people just want to hang out. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and I also like, you know, whatever. Survival games and slower paced games and stuff too, so. Alright, 11.8. Are we going to destroy our base if I build another multi purpose room? I guess we'll find out. Please do not kill me. This might break 
Oh, dude, that's nothing. What? Okay. It looks kind of funny that it's just hanging there. But it is what it is, right? Maybe we'll attach it over here eventually. Okay, I should probably put another hatch over here. Do I have quartz for that? See, the hatch requires quartz. Uh, yes. Yes, we can. And we have just enough titanium, too. Perfection. All right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hell yes. And now. What we? Oh yeah, we need to build that thing. Uh, the water filtration system, which is not in here. Where do I build this? Oh, okay. Nuclear reactor. No, that's surprisingly easy to make, though. Wow. Vehicle upgrade. We need one of those. We don't have one of those yet. Should be able to make that soon. All right, so I want this. We'll put this... The entrance is here. Put this on... Right here. Excellent. 8.5. Now, with this, what do we do here? What do we put in here? I forgot how this works. Filtered water. So we make filtered water with the bladder fish. What do we put in here? I thought in the first one you put, like, you made unfiltered, or I don't remember. Whatever. If you remember what I put in there, salt, that's it? Okay. That's cool. So yeah, we need tons of salt. I need a salt farm. Alright, now this, computer chip, copper wire. Alright, we should have both of these things. Copper wire, we do not have a computer chip. Computer chip was... Gold, two table coral, and another copper wire. All right. Power's doing good. All right, now. Uh, just titanium. All right. Put the lead in here, the kappa. Uh... So I'm carrying, why am I carrying these batteries? I don't need to carry these batteries anymore, I guess. I was carrying them for, uh, to power uh, our handheld devices when they ran out of power. But we have the swim charge fins now. So we never have to worry about things running out of power ever again, which is great. Now, except for our base. All right, let's go get salt, more food. We got beacons. I'm going to keep... Well, here, let me... Drop everything we don't need. So, computer ship and copper wire. All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right, and let's eat that plant. Old. Whatever. Yeah, you know what? We're going far away. Let's go, Charlene. Whoops. <laughs> Mind the, uh... Overpass. I don't know. 
I hope that the next Subnautica game has a deformable environment and multiplayer. That would be a dream, dream game for me. Would be this, like, it could still be a handcrafted, it doesn't need to be a procedurally generated world. It could still be, you know, a hand designed world or whatever. I'm sure it uses some procedural generation, but one map is fine. And, but with multiplayer and, uh, terrain deformation, though, that would be amazing. Next gen. Why are you why are you so fast? Jeez. Seriously. There's no escape. Come back here. All right. I don't know if there's salt anywhere closer, but this will work. There's also a ore vein over here someplace. It has a bunch of titanium, if I remember correctly. Man, I really, really need to get a uh, sit-stand desk. What the hell is that? Oh, okay. It just got frozen. Should probably pick up quartz, too. Maybe. But yeah, like, sitting while streaming for so long is, like, such a pain in my butt. <laughs> Need to stretch. I like, you know, when I make videos, I move around a lot. I get up and take breaks like every 10 minutes. Even like when I was doing Let's Play videos a lot, I would take constant breaks. That's kind of the way that I play games. But so Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh whoops. Okay. <clears throat> and we never went back to the damn All right, this is what we're doing. Oh. <laughs> We gotta go back to the sunken ship thing. We gotta go back to where the pilot thing is. All right, let's do this, and then we're getting out of here. We're doing stuff. Take breaks on stream too. I feel, I don't know why, but I mean, I've streamed now for like three years, I think, and I haven't put much work into the production of the stream, I know. I will uh, soon. Oh, hey. Jellies. I think we've already scanned these guys. Noise. Can you, you're gonna give me a shock. Look at that eyeball. It's not an eyeball. Uh, yeah, I just feel weird taking breaks on stream. I feel weird not talking constantly. But soon, I know health is important, yes. I take care of myself. I eat really, really healthy foods. Like, I I really love pizza, but I barely ever eat pizza or anything. Like, I, I work out every day. You know? Because when you're a content creator, like... Or I guess just have any day, or desk job. But the thing with content creation is, like... It tend... Gaming... Gaming content creation, anyway is like extremely long hours because it's not just a job or what if it's your job it's like a job a hobby and a way of life you know all wrapped into one so you tend to spend like very very long hours working on stuff and just doing things uh so if you don't work out and you don't you know do these things like yeah it takes a toll on you very quickly uh 
we have ventured pretty far, and I think... Oh, hello. See, I haven't been... Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to drop a beacon here. We'll be back. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I, I eat really healthy foods. I work out. I, uh... Try to keep my body in one piece, you know, while doing this. But having a sit-stand desk, that's my point. Like, being able to stand up and do this, too, would be so nice. Because before I started doing this, I stood up all the time. My job was very active. Like, I barbacked, bartended, and DJed. And did, like, occasional... Well, once a week, I did uh, audio engineering at a club, like mixed bands live. So, uh, you know, I was used to like constantly running around and stuff, and now I'm like on my ass all the time, so it's kind of shock. So being able to, like, I have a, see, the thing is I just bought, well, a year ago now, I guess, a year and a half ago, a really big, nice desk for, for this. But I kind of want to get rid of it now and get a nice sit-stand desk, since I'm streaming a lot more. Uh, okay. It's just, I don't, don't want to explore this place yet. I'm just going to drop a beacon. Literally, right here. What the hell? Oh, okay. They just stacked to the next one. <laughs> I was like, that was weird. We're going to put the laser cutter on this one. Or actually, we'll keep the beacon, because... We're going to drop another beacon. I don't want to forget at the ship when I get there. Uh, this one is... Oh, wait. Hang on. This one is the... Are oh, the maps? Where's the map? Personal log. Survival. Just in here, logs and communications. All right, where are we? This one, we're over here, I think. So what is this? Uh, wait, so that's Delta. I don't remember these symbols, really. I should, from Noita, especially. That's Omega. What is this, Phi? Wait, we got Delta Phi Robotics. Outpost Zero is Nala Games headquarters in uh, Finland. <laughs> Kappa mining site. This is Kappa. Omega is the lab. Which, did we find that? I don't, we did, we did. Okay. Biological research on the, on the virus or the bacteria. All right, so this one is Phi. Robotics, nice. Caps locks on. Uh, whatever. Good stuff. Now, more assault. Uh, more assault. Got three of those. I wanna. I wanted to stack up a, or stock up a bunch of food. Let's just get. We got enough salt. I think. At the moment. Let's just get peepers. Man, I really don't like you. Come on. Why so fast? I need a high speed uh, sea glide, please. Nuclear powered sea glide. With turbo jets on it. Or a plasma, a plasma beam that propels me faster than the speed of light. That would be nice. But yeah, anyway, so I'm redoing my uh, setup soon because I it's about time, like for a very long time now, <laughs> I've had, oh, this is nice. Let's actually breathe. 
I have a camera, an, a 4K camera. I have a green screen, and I have lighting, but I just have not taken the time to set everything up. Because I have to rip apart everything, pretty much. Or I don't have to, but I'm going to take the opportunity to do so because I've needed to, kind of. So I'm going to take a few days and just, like, you know, rip apart the entire setup. Do My cables were nice, like, really nice cable management, but then as I added a few new things, they, uh, they're now a mess. So I'm going to rip everything apart. Set everything up very nicely, and then uh, have a camera and everything and a green screen for streaming. That'll, you know, be on most of the time. I'm sure I won't have it on all the time, but, you know, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Not that I'm, like, shy about the way I look or anything, but... It's just sometimes I don't want, like, for production value. Like, some people like a camera on the screen all the time, but I think I wouldn't really like to do that all the time, maybe. For, you know, for content reasons. I don't know. We'll see. I also have to figure out, like, I have no idea at all about how to do all that. I've never used, I've used cameras, obviously, but I've never used a green screen. So I gotta, it's gonna take a few days to really like get all the kinks out and figure out what I need to do to light up, light up the green screen correctly. So you can't see it, you know, like little shadows or whatever, jankiness. Where to go? Ah. Uh, there's not enough peepers. Where are the peepers? I know I could eat other things, but I... I mean, I should try other things, because who knows? If you know, how about this? What's the best fish, or do I have access to the best fish for eating, and is it not peepers? I know I have all those fruits that I'm growing back at the base, but they take two slots, and I'm... Mm, I would rather just cure a bunch of peepers, probably, and then, like, start making a bunch of filtered water. I want to fill up the rest of my slots with peeper bodies. Bring it into my hands. I need your flesh for yummies. I need to eat your giant juicy eyeballs. <laughs> oh man, gross. And then we're gonna see some leviathans. Yeah. Two more. Oh boy. Um. That's right. I'm so happy that I made the swim glide fins. I was like, I was debating not making them yet. Like, oh, let's save that stuff for something else that we might need more. No. We need to, to not have to continuously change batteries on things. Man. Now, like, the most inefficient thing is our uh, water. If we can somehow get that under control, which I'm not going to work on now, then, uh, oops, where am I? Things would be real nice. All right, we're gonna go here, cure a bunch of food, store a bunch of it, which, let me see if I can capture this one. 
All right. Where'd you go? And then we're gonna go to the crash ship, which I think is like right around the island. Explore that. We gotta use the laser cutter to cut our way through it. Oh yeah, I should. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go there first. And then we'll go to the pilot location. Try to find whatever the hell's over there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. Why can I not make cured? Oh. Mm mm mm. Oh, dude. Uh, whoops. <laughs> hmm. Well, then. Well, we could. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna collect. We're not gonna harvest all those, actually. We're gonna cut each one. Hey. Ah, okay. Put the rest of the seeds in here. Very nice. Got... No, wrong one, dummy ass. What? Ugh. So it didn't give me the seed for the other one? Because I my inventory is full? Fine. I guess let's harvest these two then. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the things that just like automatically come out of my mouth I surprise my myself. Uh, let's eat. <laughs> Make more cured fish. Oh no, we have no power. We have one power. All right. Now, uh, how do I make a, here, uh, <laughs> how you doing, Doom player? Wiring kit? Do, 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 ba, da, ba, do, uh, let's make one of these bioreactors. Come on, power. I need just one more. Ugh. Hate you. Got four batteries? Five batteries in here? Wowzers. <laughs> nice. Doing good. Took my mom to the hospital to get checked because she doesn't know English. All right. Get checked. Hope she's all right. Hope she's good. I guess we're going to sleep then. Yeah, look at that view when we're sleeping. Hell yeah. Yeah, fancy. Fancy schmancy. All right, now. What was in here? Oh, wow. Prawn suit upgrades. Oh. Jeez. Oh, yeah. And what I was going to make a long time ago. When I before I got sidetracked was this, which we can now make, and we're gonna put that sucker right along the wall over here, someplace. If it needs to be rotated, right? No, it has to be okay. I can't center it. I hate this game.
Hang on. Yeah, well, we're not going to build on this side, so I'll put it on this wall over here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Lady. Uh, I guess right here. Yeah. Nothing docked? Oh. Where'd I put her? I don't know if there's anything I can make with this right now anyway, or anything I want to make with it. But let's check it out. I think the this thing is mostly for the uh, prawn suit, which it seems like you only get two vehicles in this, right? Oh yeah, this is for changing the color, the name. Oh, shh, come on. Hey, game, you must let me, okay. Charlene, so small. And then, all right, base color. How do I use this? Let me use it. What the hell? Black. Yes. Stripe one. I don't know. Interior. Uh. There we go. Pink. <laughs> Is that red? I want red. Yeah. Okay, red. Name. Name is going to be like yellow. The SS Charlene. Hector. Charlene. Only Charlene. Alright, so... Do we want to match this? Maybe? Uh... What the hell was that? Is that a fish swimming into my base? I must get more RNG. Fine. Just it's, meh. more RNG, please. <laughs> Wait, that's close enough right there. I guess the interior will do same thing. Hey. No, the interior will be... White. Pure white. That's probably the color the interior would be. Base, the name. Name is going to be orange too then. Orange. Which I can't see the name, so... We gotta just kind of match this. It was like up this way, yeah. Alright, that's good. Charlene, we've done it. There we go, perfect. It's the Batmobile. Now, I made mine poop brown and neon pink because I'm clearly an adult. <laughs> nice. <laughs> exactly, right? We, we don't play video games to act like adults. We play video games to not like it, act, not act like adults. Yeah, so I didn't even need this to make these at all. That's interesting. Do you even need the vehicle upgrade panel in this game? Because like I was able to make the uh, depth, the tier three depth module without that. 